ball from Aaron Belt. It even has ball for ball score. I like that. Yeah, but you only you only have to put in certain. Oh, I got it. It's it's basically Mount Airy scoring. Oh, that's how it ends up working out. I see where you got your inspiration from. One, three, five, nine. Ooh, got wow. them all. Wow. Nice ball. Wow. That's cool. What's a miracle is I got the tenth frame to work. Uh, yeah, that <laughs> could be difficult. See ya. See ya. How'd you finish? Yeah, doing great. Uh, same boat. Yeah. The ball. Ooh. Good ball. Too good. Four out the shot. A little stick maybe. Two, three, four, six, nine, and ten. Saw this left back to back shots on lane 22 earlier. Same exactly. It was uh, it Corey Matheson and Logan Turner that left it back to back. Clean up for Joey. We'll take eight. You tell me. Right. Reset cycle giving Ryan Bell a head start on lane 20. Seven and eight are missing. Good ball in there for Joey. Caves out the four, seven, eight. That's a strike in the second. out there. A couple spinners was looking for one of them to trip out, but baby split. Not a bad count. The way his ball fades a little left to right, this is a good shot for him to be shooting. Just like that. Exit. 28-18 after two. Both bowlers on a hit. This is the round of, am I correct, 18, right? This is the round of 18. Uh, and then we will have two people out of this go to 16. Five pin with a spinner. Not quite. Nice nine count though. Puts him at 37 through two. Five, all over it. Great, for, uh, great start for him. Three for three on spares. So we'll be looking to pull back here with maybe a double, at least a spare. I believe we're counting that is six stars on the back of Joey Sears. Hung that one out there a bit, looking to trip out one more. Maybe off the lip. No, 110 standing. So, Joey would be down nine at best. Pretty Ooh, shot. Got it. You can tell he's made that a few times before. No. He's laughing because he knows he beat, beat the side for eight and came back and made it with a great shot. Joey down nine, but it is early. Both bowlers on a mark. Hey, don't. Oh, well. Uh. 
Yeah. Oh. And even the one that lost 979 views. I saw, I, oh, I, I saw that. I was here. Oh, good <laughs> shit, man. I miss it. Good shit. <laughs> It happens. <laughs> it's all a game, man. It's fun. Games do you know. Until you lose. You can't win them all. Joey Sears on a spare. Huh? Two pin. Ah. Uh, Two pin in the face of you? Yeah. Oh. You see everything he's doing on the video. On the monitor. Oh, you got the video running. Yeah. So it puts Joey at 47 through 3. I should see scoreboard there rather than having trying to so read up there. I get away because my voice is in the video. Oh, I mean, you're, you're talking right now. Yeah, we can hear you. We got you. You're live. Bye, man. You're live. <laughs> you are live. Joey is alive and all over the two pin. Could have been 10, but he'll take nine, make it. 47 through three, spare in the fourth. Ryan already at 47 in the third. He's got a spare to fill. A little yeah. left. If he hit better than two, I guess. Takes five. I give him a five pin lead through three. 52-47. Kick. Nice. nice shot. Pretty shot. I think we need to take a look at that one more time. Uh, it'll be faster next time. Uh, uh, I'm not even sure it's it. Oh, dead. Replay. There it is. Oh, yes. We have instant replay. Oh, that is so great. Back live. Yeah, if you want to hit that, hit that fast. Control Shift R. Control Shift R, and then click replay. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah, if you hit it, I'll I'll swap to it. We did a replay. We're we're big boys now. Yeah, we we good now. I even remember to actually mute the replay video this time. I'm like I did a green mouth the whole time, so it's like talking twice. Oh, you got replay green mouth. Yeah. Oh, cool. Got a ball. Okay, got a good break. Steals nine. I know it's probably immature to sound so excited about that. Like, I've just been waiting for that all day. <laughs> See, it actually had worked, but if you changed the replay, it wouldn't automatically play. If you would hit restart the video, it would have played. Ah, just slides by on the six. A great start, nonetheless. He's going to be in the 80s after five. Nine on, nine out. 80 in the Ball return nine and ten. Ball return nine and ten. He's definitely kind of guy. Scrimmer. Here we go. Nine nine. Do they know what that means? Yeah. Yeah, they'll figure it out. Like I said, it's not any style. All right. Here. So I'll do the thing, and you get the match. Mm -hmm. Going to the mouse, you don't have to be quick. Doing the button press, you kind of, because that's going to be the end point. Right when you hit that. Good ball. Uh, and once again, wow. I've been talking to the viewers about this all day. The light flat pocket hit, the half pocket hit on 19 and 20 is very good at leaving the 5 7 or 5 10 combination. Multiple times today on a pocket hit 5 7, 5 10, even 5 7 time. This pair is known for it. You really got to flush it in there or be really light. Half pocket hits are the worst kind of pocket ooh, to ooh, have. Ooh. Oh, he went for it. He's running it out. Or maybe jogging it out or limping it out. He's doing one of them. Great try at it, though. So he will be trailing, but he's opposite and open, so not too much hurt. Nice shot there. Well, great opening. Great opening half by both guys. 80 to 75. This is the, uh, some of the high scoring pace I think we've been missing today. So, uh... Joey with a chance to kick off the second half now. We'll add down on lanes. 9 and 10, we have Joshua Bull against Joe D'Urso. They're going in the round of 18. We have two matches going on right now. The winner of those two matches will join the other 14 people who got a first round bye, and that will make up our 16-person bracket to go towards the star. Joey in the sixth. He knew he was off. Says thank you very much. Steals eight. And 
Whoa! Picks it heavy. Yes, there is a way. I believe he was saying the one three was pretty tight together. And, uh, still found a way to pick it out. Especially interesting too that he was throwing the left to right ball there. I guess it just sat up in front of the head pin. I watched Randy Farlow pick out a pin that was literally sitting on top of the pin. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a rough break, but uh, we will see if. Uh, it's all about your fun frame. See if see if Ryan can capitalize. Ryan does capitalize. Messenger gutter belt. No. That's a great response there. He's got to cover this up. Good. Over. He's got it. Not even a super impressive shot, but it's a spare, <laughs> so like hey. That's him making the 10 pin. There you go. And you didn't even have to pay extra folks, this is free. Public domain. Open open source. Open source. Sorry. Open source. Open source. <laughs> you be proper. Open source. On a spare, Ryan Bell. Uh, that's nowhere near. And that count does hurt a bit. That, that actually keeps his lead single digits. So an open frame here, Joey can mark to come right back even. Could be a... And he did not convert. I have to come back to this frame later. That could be a costly error. Like one of my frames today. 93 in the 6th to Joey's 84. That's a 9 pin advantage. But he's going to be open. And counts 9. So that goes to possibly only an 8 pin lead. Um, Thomas, nothing yet. Um, what is special is that the first time in Pop Witten live streaming history, we do have instant replay. Um, I'm very excited about that. Ooh, good ball. Good ball for the four pin, but I think he'll take nine there. Had a couple good games. I think we had a couple games in the 80s. We did. No, no, no 200s, but we did have people pick close. Like Actually, Randy, Randy Farlow 189 was the high game that was on the featured pairs. And um, what was his name? Came down from. He found from up north. He had a he had a 180 something. Had a, got a triple. Mike Herbert. Yes. Yes. Spare. Nine Joe Sears. <laughs> oh, I'll have a look at that one more time. Casey were over at the fridge when he made it. There it is. Spare in the box. Joey Sears. Eight count now. We'll pull this game even. What do you think of that instant replay, Thomas? You like that? <laughs> Fancy, aren't we? They've just seen it now. Huh? Yeah, but fades just, in, it fades they're... in, it fades out. I like that. Oh, we need to take a look at that one again. How about that? Joey Sears pulling the string. He's got a connection in the back. 10, 6, 3, 1, down they go. Wow, and on that, Joey Sears has a two-pin lead. That was a big backdoor strike. Unbelievable. <laughs> Talk about a momentum shift. How does Ryan respond? Right. That's one of my balls today. Okay, but makeable. Spare here is not bad at all. Keep the pace. One, two, seven, eight. Now oh, he's off. Only the two count becomes important now. He doesn't want to fall too far behind. Definitely be uh, imperative that he marks in the ninth. Oh, a bad count. Only seven out. 109 to 114 plus. That one again. <laughs> yeah, we did. I will never forget the day Colton Gu threw a backdoor strike and then called him into a backdoor double. And man, did he not rip that 4 7 Just 
crush the 4 7 first strike. <laughs> Speaking of 4 7, that is uh, Ryan over in that left corner again. Just gotta, gotta make one good shot here. One good shot, cover the spare. Let's see what Joey does on the strike, give himself a chance. Just like hey, that, that's exactly what he had to do. Illustrated to perfection. Exactly what he had to do. That at least gives him a fight chance going into the 10th. Joey will finish first, 9th and 10th. The possibility for a shutout does exist. Joey would need two marks to do that. More than likely, my guess here is that Ryan is going to need some kind of two marks. Or more, more than likely a double. See what Joey does here on his strike. Uh -oh, way left. Catches a break though, he leaves the tricky triangle. As far as I can tell, looking on our monitor, that should be a pretty fair rack for him. I don't see any big pockets. There haven't been a lot of big pockets today, a lot of tiny pockets. Yeah. Let's see. Well, big pocket on lane 9 <laughs> in the 1-3. Let's see. Looks good. All day. Gets it. So, in the 8th frame, it is 124-109 in favor of Joey Sears. So that's a 15 pin lead. Both bowlers on a spare going into the 10th. So again, more than likely, double going to be required. Yep. And possibility for the shutout still exists. There, he said, never mind. Here goes Joey. In there, 9, 10? No. 143. Is he 52 right now? 52. Conversion here. And. Eight pins would be a shutout. No, sorry. Seven pins would be a shutout. Conversion in seven is a shutout. And yes. Has it. Seven for the win, Joey Sears. 153 plus his ball. Been pretty steady throughout, except pick two cutter. Been, been throwing it pretty well. I can't remember what was the split he had. That was that five, five seven, right? Five ten. Five seven. Five seven. <laughs> Only six. The possibility for a tie enters the equation. You sit in here, Ryan Bell. Must strike three times for the tie. Well, make it interesting. Give me, give me the first one. Make it interesting. Always make it interesting. I want the first one. Give yourself some hope before you fall. Over. I want the first one. Come on. <laughs> Throw me a good shot. Nope. Oh, no. It's off the corner, and that will do it. Is that three? That is three, yes. So, we'll be Joey Sears moving on into the round of 16. Day ends for Ryan Bell. Just strong performance, nonetheless. A great start to this game with about 80 in the first half. Four, cons four consecutive spares, but could not strike. Yeah. Unique seven box to end out. 159, 129. Ryan Bell over Joey Sears. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan really struggled on some counts at the end there, hitting the headband. Yes. Joey also caught two strikes. Caught strikes and counted them well. He counted both of them with spares. Just one less strike than I had all day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to complain about that. 